Hello everyone, this is Tom with Edwards Yacht Sales. And today we're looking at a Hunter Vision. This is a 32 foot sailing vessel, it's a sloop. And you might notice that this Vision has no standing rigging. Going up, 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 right into the sun. I can't see, so I hope that doesn't blind you. Anyway, we uh, have a mast height of 53 feet. We got a beam of 11 foot 4 inches, a draft of uh, 4 foot 3. Now as I was saying, this has no standing rigging, so you don't have uh, that to worry about. It's got like a telephone pole size mast here that is just heck for strong. And it's just, uh, you don't have that wire rigging and everything getting in your way when you're out here on the fore deck. Uh, it does have lazy jacks. They are rigged. Got a Bruce anchor up here. And we have chain and nylon road. All the nun skid has just recently been done on this boat. There's uh, so many new items on here that I just uh, really don't have much room to talk about them. Uh, so those will be included in my regular advertising. So I'll go into that immediately. We advertise on Edwards Yacht Sales, YachtWorld.com, uh, Boat Trader, Sailboat Listings. Uh, we advertise on uh, close, not and maybe 60 websites. Uh, it changes all the time. So if you need to see this boat, it's a 1992 Hunter Vision. Go to one of those websites and you'll find my full listing. I'll have over a hundred photos of this vessel on there along with this video that you can see again. Now let's take a walk back here. And you notice that this boat does have a sugar scoop. That's important to a lot of people. If you have pets, if you have a dog, um, these sugar scoops sure come in handy. And it does have a stainless swim ladder there and it has a outside uh, shower tucked up under there. Boat does have boat davits here, uh, but this one does not come, uh, they have never had a, a dinghy, so it doesn't come with a dinghy. The vessel is very clean and it looks quite nice. I'll go back to this uh, non-skid here, it's just been put down and it looks just great. These are very nice little boats, and uh, for the price range that they're in, uh, you got a lot of boat here. Um, you can do a lot with this boat. You can go island hopping out in the Caribbean. Uh, you can go just about anywhere. It's not a circumnavigator, but you can do just about anything else. And we'll get back here behind the uh, helm here. It does have a Garmin GPS in here. The specifications on that will be listed in my uh, regular advertising. And we'll get a look at this uh, helm platform. Or the helm uh, pulpit, if you will. Here are your engine controls. That's uh, to remind the uh, the owner that he needed to change his uh, stern zinks. He's very attentive to this boat. There are a whole host of new things that have been added to this boat. And uh, we'll get into those uh, in my regular advertising. They'll be listed right out. So, could always use a th third hand when I'm doing this. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's, that's your autopilot. Uh, the autopilot uh, does not work at the time being, so that may be something you might want to look into. Okay, let's take a look below. Um, if 
Very beautiful, warm teak interior. Uh, now let's just take this in for a minute here. I like these hunters. They they always have a nice bright overheads. It makes it light and cheerful inside the boat. Uh, not so much like being in a cave. This one's uh, very very pleasant to be in. Nice little galley. Now that's an alcohol stove. Uh, the cellars do have extra alcohol, and those things work great. They just work great, and you don't have propane on the boat. Propane can be dangerous. If done right, of course it isn't, but it can be. Uh, now your your reefers are right here in the center island. So you have a refrigerator here, and that's kind of nice little touch there. I just love these springs here. You see, you just touch them and then it breaks them. And anyway, I get the biggest thrill out of the smallest things. So anyway, let's uh, look around here. Uh, boat is air conditioned. There's your air conditioned control right there. Uh, swing around slowly. This is your navigation station. Uh, we have one VH, VHF radio. It's a uh, uh, standard radio. There's your Garmin GPS in there and chart plotter. Now this, uh, you do have one radio, but it does have a remote RAM mic that sits in the cockpit that you can operate the radio from. The seller says the TV here is very sharp and it works great. It does have a DVD with it. There's a CD sticking out of the stereo, uh, MP3 player, AM, FM. It does have an inverter. It has an 1800 watt Xantrax inverter. That keeps the batteries charged and uh, will give you 110 voltage for something quick, usually, you know, if you're underway, uh, maybe a coffee pot or something to that effect. Now, the batteries in this vessel are all new. They were just put in last month. There are three house batteries and one start battery. Here is your head. The toilet is new and it is a manual pump toilet. Here's your little showering area here. It has a nice little seat and it's uh, unless you're a really really big person and no I'm not insinuating anything uh, you can get in there and comfortably uh, take a shower. Okay, coming out of there, the main engine is located underneath the companionway steps, which is common among sailboats. Uh, it's very clean in there. Uh, that will be, the engine photos will be in my regular advertising again. Uh, aft stateroom, here you have a hang up closet right here. And it's pretty large. Now it tucks back under the cockpit here way back in there. Uh, lots of room. I mean there's lots of room in here. Uh, now this right here is an engine access. There's all kinds of access to the engine. So you can get around it from the other side, the front, this side, and I do believe just a small door back here if you needed it. Uh, so you see the beautiful, uh, it's a laminate uh, teak finish on the deck. Uh, stainless sink in the galley. This is just a real nice little boat. Um, I like the idea of not having to worry about that standing rigging. Um, as a brokerage we use rule of thumb 10 years on the uh, wire standing rigging. And this one you never have to worry about that. There's plenty of space up there to sleep. This also right here, if you see the cushions up forward there, those who come back to here, that table will drop down, those cushions will fill in this uh, section here and you have a pretty good size berth right, right in here. So you have three 
double burst, a double up forward, a double here in the salon, and we swing around and then a double back in the master stateroom. Well, I'd like to reiterate that we advertise on uh, close, if not if, uh, about 60 websites. We're on Edwards Yacht Sales. We're on uh, YachtWorld.com. We're on Boat Trader. Those are the biggest ones. Uh, sailboat Listings. Uh, and we're just about everywhere you want to look. We do advertise in hard print in several nautical magazines, Florida Mariner, Passage Maker. Now, if you want to see this boat, it's a 1992 32-foot Vision. And it will be listed in all of those. So all you have to do is look for it. This one here is in, uh, it's in uh, Gasparilla, Florida. It's at Gasparilla Marina in Florida. And if you'd like to come see this boat, uh, please just give me a call. My name is Tom, and I'm with Edward Shot Sales. Uh, we uh, are very easy to get along with. Uh, we're not high-pressure people here at all. We're just regular folk. Uh, so if you're interested in this boat, would like to come see it, or ask me any questions you all you know, that you want, uh, I'll be glad to answer those for you. And outside of that, thank you all for coming. And have a great day. Bye-bye now.